The biggest story here is really the heat and humidity. Tomorrow looks dangerously hot. We're talking about heat index values over 100 degrees. So we have so definitely a weather pattern right now that involves can. warmer air across a big portion of the country. Now later on next week, there'll be a change with cooler air from Canada driving southward. Now with that clash with warm and cold air, we'll have a good chance of storms, I think, for early and middle of next week. Do you have week. any last minute travel plans yeah, tonight? I don't, I don't expect any concerns. It's the snow that does begin, like Erica said, after midnight. And then through the day tomorrow, snow gets progressively heavier. So I would recommend if you need to be anywhere, be there by 4 p.m. tomorrow because that's when things really hey, get Erica, bad. It's we have some very busy days, as you can imagine, in the newsroom. At, I've been over at WXEdge.com monitoring the storm very closely. It really has the makings of being a very classic Almost a textbook Southern New England blizzard, as you had said. Right. We want if you look to back over now here, with our team coverage. Pressure. As mentioned, our Weather Edge meteorologist Quincy Vagel has more from our newsroom. Quincy. Hey Keith, uh, WeatherEdge.com is a great resource to track the storm. We have all the latest forecasts and articles. But one thing we want to see is we want to see you guys interact with us. So if you go to WXEdge.com. Quincy, what say you? Of course, we've got your back over at WXEdge.com. We're currently watching the storm as it develops over the Carolinas. And what we're seeing is with this storm system, there's a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico just kind of racing up the East Coast. And that's why one of the biggest concerns with this storm in Connecticut. All right. As we showed you before, we've been taking a look at some of the devastating tornadoes that happened out in Nebraska. And one of our Weather Edge contributors, and it's a familiar face to many of you, meteorologist Quincy Vagel was out there when two tornadoes touched down. He actually, I believe, saw three of them. Now he's going to join us uh, via Skype about his experience. Quincy, you're, you're, well, first of all, hi. Nice to see your face again. Hey, Sam. It's nice to be back. So what did you see when you were out there? Well, I was out in a town called Stanton, Nebraska, and then I saw a tornado touch down. I followed that for about 15 minutes, and then probably the more iconic footage is when I saw two large wedge tornadoes, so two additional tornadoes, so three in total, touch down right in front of me. It was, it was very uh, spectacular. Yeah, and we're, we're taking a look at the video right now, actually, from when you were chasing. Were you behind? 